Malachim Bet, 2 Kings chapter 14. It was in the second year of Yoash, the son of Jehoahaz, king of Israel, that Amaziah, the son of Yoash, king of Yehuda, began his reign. He was twenty-five years old when he began to rule, and he ruled for twenty-nine years in Jerusalem. His mother's name was Jehoadan from Jerusalem. He did what was right from Adonai's perspective, although not like David, his ancestor. He lived the same way as his father Yoash. However, the high places were not removed. The people still sacrificed and offered on the high places. As soon as he had the kingdom of, firmly under his control, he put to death the servants of his who had murdered the king, his father. But he did not put the children of the murderer to death, murderers to death because of what is written in the scroll of the Torah of Moshe. As Adonai ordered when he said, Fathers are not to be executed for the children, nor are children to be executed for the fathers. Every person will be executed for his own sin. He slaughtered 10,000 men of Edom in the Salt Valley and captured Selah in the war, renaming it Yaktiel as it is today. Then Amaziah sent messengers to Jehoash, the son of Jehoahaz, son of Yehu, king of Israel, with this challenge. Come on, let's have it out face to face. Jehoash, the king of Israel, sent this reply to Amaziah, king of Yehuda. Once in the Lebanon, the thistle sent a message to the cedar, Give your daughter to my son in marriage. But a wild animal passed by the thistle and squashed it. True, you have defeated Edom, and now you're ambitious. So enjoy the glory, but stay home. Why provoke calamity to your own ruin, yours and Yehuda's too? But Amaziah wouldn't listen. So Jehoash, king of Israel, went up, and he and Amatsia, king of Yehuda, had it out face to face at Beit Shemesh, which belongs to Yehuda. Yehuda was defeated by Israel, and every man fled to his tent. Yehoash, king of Israel, took Amatsia, king of Yehuda, the son of Yehoash, the son of Ahaziah, prisoner at Beit Shemesh. Then he went to Jerusalem and demolished the wall of Jerusalem between the gate of Ephraim and the corner gate, a section 600 feet long. He took all the gold and silver, all the articles he could find in the house of Adonai and in the treasuries of the royal palace and hostages. Then he returned to Shamran. Other activities of Jehoash that he did, his power and how he fought Amatziah, king of Yehuda, are recorded in the annals of the kings of Israel. Jehoash slept with his ancestors and was buried in Shamran with the kings of Israel. Then Yarovam took his place as king. Amatziah, the son of Yoash, Yeho king of Yehuda, lived another 15 years after the death of Yehoash, son of Yehoahaz, king of Israel. Other activities of Amatziah are recorded in the annals of the kings of Yehuda. Because of a conspiracy formed against him in Yerushalayim, Amatziah fled to Lachish, but they followed him to Lachish and killed him there. They brought his body back on horses and he was buried in Jerusalem with his ancestors in the city of David. Then all the people of Yehuda took Azariah at the age of 16 and made him king in place of his father Amatziah. Azariah recovered Ielat for Yehuda and rebuilt it. After that, the king Amatziahu slept with his ancestors. And it was in the 15th year of Amatziah, the son of Yoash, king of Yehuda, that Yarovam, the son of Yoash, king of Israel, began to reign in Shamran, and he ruled for 41 years. He did what was evil from Adonai's perspective. He did not turn from all the sins of Yarovam, the son of Devat, who made Israel sin. He recovered the territory of Israel between the entrance of Hamat and the Sea of the Aravah, and keeping with the word of Adonai, the God of Israel, which he spoke through his servant Yonah, the son of Amittai, the prophet from gat Hefer. For Adonai saw how bitterly Israel had suffered, with no one left, either slave or free, and no one coming to Israel's aid. Adonai did not threaten to blot out the name of Israel from under heaven, but saved them through Yarovam, the son of Yoash. Other activities of Yarovam, all his accomplishments, all his power, how he conducted war, and how he recovered Damasic and Hamat for Yehuda and Israel, are recorded in the annals of the kings of Israel. Yarovam slept with his ancestors, the kings of Israel, and Zechariah took his place as king. End of Malachim Bet, chapter 14.